Okay, hello everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to... Gee, let's see. Day seven? <laughs> well, I guess we should say day three. Seven days left, right? Now, of nine straight days of streaming. So far, I've done two. Tuesday and Wednesday. Today is Thursday, December 13th, 2018. I welcome you all to today's stream. Wholeheartedly, I hope you are all ready for another full day of streaming. That's right. Um, What do we have on the agenda today? Well, much to the chagrin of some, we've got more Smash. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Adventure Mode. Um, This is one of the longest campaigns ever to be put into a fighting game. Um, And I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Although I realize some people are getting burnt out on it. No surprise. But I've been enjoying it. And every single time that I play it, I unlock more characters. And I think the reason that it keeps it fresh is because I am picking various characters as I play. I'm not just playing with the same characters over and over. But instead, I'm mixing it up and playing with other characters. Uh, in particular, at the very end of my last session, I unlocked Sonic the Hedgehog. So I think today, we're going to start off today's session with Sonic the Hedgehog and continue on. Um, yeah, there's a lot more to do, supposedly, in this second half of the, the campaign of the game, uh, and we're just going to keep, you know, progressing on, unlocking characters and playing with new ones uh, until we beat it. Now, at this point, I'm about 17 hours into it, and the reports are that it could be anywhere from, like, like uh, 20 to 27 hours, and that depends on if you do all the side content, unlocking all of the spirits, or if you're just doing the main unlocks to progress with the story. Um, I'm trying to do everything, you know, I'm trying to solve all the puzzles, I'm trying to get everything in the game unlocked. I guess we'll see how that goes, okay? <laughs> so far, so good. Um, and let's keep going, right? Let's keep it going. Let's see if you guys, you know, enjoy it. it so far, even though I do admit it, this is definitely a dragging on style kind of a campaign, uh, people still have liked it. And attendance has been good, and people have liked it, and, and people have contributed. So I, I have no complaints on my end. I'd be more than happy to continue playing this, um, you know, until the end, as long as people are still liking it, and it appears that you guys are, right? So I guess we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, tonight will be the return of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. Now, for those who aren't aware, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 apparently had a ginormous update patch this week. So, during the break, I'm actually going to make sure that actually loaded on my PS4 because uh, I've been swapping between consoles quite a lot recently, between Xbox One, uh, you know, Switch, and now PS4. So, I'll make sure that's loaded for tonight. Um, apparently, there's <clears throat> all kinds of new content. I don't know if there's a new Blackout map. If there is, I'll definitely be trying to play on it. <clears throat> but also, uh, apparently, there's a new armor system or something. I, saw, I heard someone referencing it. I don't know. I don't understand it because... I didn't play the game yet. So tonight when we play Blackout, <clears throat> it could be completely different. Uh, a new map and all kinds of new content tonight. So it could be a pretty fun stream tonight, okay? So that'll be tonight. Tomorrow, um, for my main stream, what's tomorrow? Friday? <laughs> I couldn't even remember what tomorrow was. Holy crap. I had a brain fart. Um, I think we may do some more multiplayer. Of Smash, um, hold on one second because my phone is screwing up here. I wanted to double check what I put on the schedule yesterday to make sure that I'm not, uh, you know, having a, a brain fart. Yeah, that's right. So tomorrow, my main stream will be more multiplayer of Smash again. So depending on who we unlock today, okay, will determine probably who I'm going to be playing with tomorrow. Um... And then tomorrow night, I'm doing another Minecraft chill stream. Last night, I did a three-hour-long Minecraft chill stream. It went really well. Everyone who was on the stream was having fun. We were all interacting. It was very exciting because not only was I learning a ton about Minecraft that I had never known before, but I was also having fun interactions with everyone on the stream. People really seemed to enjoy it and said they actually liked it so much, they wanted me to do it again right away. And I said, well, let's wait a day or two. Let's not do it immediately. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so Friday night, I'm going to be doing another Minecraft chill stream, okay? And we'll see how it goes. Um, then, 
on Saturday, it's going to be my very first ever Red Dead Redemption 2 online co-op stream. I'm going to be teaming up with a couple moderators and a viewer to do a four-player posse. We're going to be riding through the Wild West together, doing the story-based co-op missions. And we may do a little bit of Suicide Kings, depending on time permitting, and if anyone has any ideas of where we could go to try it out, okay? So it should be a pretty fun co-op stream, the very first Red Dead co-op stream I'll ever do. Let's see how it goes, and based on that, we'll determine if I do future ones, okay? And then Saturday night, I'm going to be doing another stream of Assassin's Creed. I know you're probably saying, what? Assassin's Creed? You just beat it. Well, I beat the main plotline for Cassandra, but I did not complete all of the content of the game. And what I'd like to do is continue on with a few side quest lines and get to level 50 so that I can fight the Medusa and I can uh, kill all the cultists that are left in the game, of which there's a significant amount. That being said, because the story is pretty much over, it'll be a lot more chill of a stream because we'll have a lot more opportunity to just talk and interact rather than worrying about me, uh, you know, paying attention to story cutscenes and the like, even though there will still be a few. So that's going to be Saturday night, okay? And then we're going to play it by ear after that. We're going to see what happens. Do people want more Smash on Sunday? Do people want something different? Keep in mind, this coming week, I will be starting my Final Fantasy IV playthrough. Okay, kind of... <clears throat> it kind of was in limbo this week because I didn't know if I was going to start it or not. Mostly because I didn't know how Smash was going to be received. I didn't know if you guys were going to like Smash Brothers or not or if I was going to like Smash Brothers or not. And it just so happens that it ends up being a really entertaining and, and good game to play. And people are really enjoying it. So it's actually worked out for this whole week. Um, so we'll see, but, but yeah, Final Fantasy 11 coming soon, all right, probably next week, all right? All right, guys, so that's the rough schedule for the week. Um, quite frankly, I don't have much to, to, to talk about on pre-stream today. There's no real news or anything. What I will say is this, I want to say thank you guys very much for your support recently. As you know, I told you about some financial troubles I've been having, but in particular, um, needing, uh, your support via tips because my bank account got overdrawn. And, you know, I want to say thanks because a lot of you yesterday did actually tip me. Today is more of the same. Um, I still haven't gotten paid by Twitch. I'm still overdrawn. Even with all the tips you guys gave me, I put it all towards the bank account to pay basically the negative balance. But I'm still screwed right now. Like, until Twitch pays me or, you know, it just really stinks. So, today, guys, I appreciate any contributions. If you would like to check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. If you pledge this month to my Patreon, five bucks or more, you'll be contributing to the monthly goal of the upcoming retrospective event. We will be able to nominate and vote on my your favorite moments. Not really vote, but just nominate your favorite moments of my 10 years of being a content creator for a retrospective event next month. You can buy merch for my Teespring. That, you know, that's really cool collectibles and stuff. I appreciate anyone who does. Uh, you can see the plugs for that here on the pre-stream. You can cheer yourself or tip during today's stream to get a shout-out. And you guys know the rules for that. You know, please be positive and no insults and yada yada. I don't. I really just don't feel like doing a long, a long, uh, involved pre-stream today. Quite frankly, I just don't. Um, the bottom line is, right now, I need your support via tips if you can. All right, if you could tip me on today's stream, it helps tremendously um, because that goes right to my PayPal, which allows me to then go right to my bank account and and pay these freaking back bills that now have overdrawn my account. Um, and there's still at least another two days before I get anything from Twitch. So, you know, much appreciated if you guys could tip me today. Two ways to tip. If you look below the stream, there's a button that says Tips Jar. You can click on that. Or you could just type exclamation point tip into the stream chat. That'll bring up a link to tip me. Either way helps a ton, okay? As you can see, we got a leaderboard. I'll be putting up the top cheerer and top tipper up there. We'll also be tracking subs. Monthly goal, you already know, is that retrospective event. We're only 25 subs away from hitting it. Please consider subbing to the channel today. <laughs> And um, if you do so choose to cheer today, and it doesn't have to be on my channel, anywhere on Twitch, if you choose to cheer today, there's a way that you can actually get a free contribution to charity. And I strongly urge, I can't make you do it, but I strongly urge you to do, especially during this holiday season, it's always good to give to the needy. There's two ways to do it. When you cheer, you can either include hashtag charity somewhere in your cheer, or... You, instead of using the normal cheer command, which would be like cheer and the number of bits you want to cheer, you could do charity and the number of bits you want to cheer. Either one of those methods will allow you to contribute to charity for free. The bits will still go to the streamer, whoever you're cheering for, but then additional funds will be donated to charity, okay? 
And right now they've already raised over $43,000 for charity. Um, and there's 14 more days to go. That's pretty crazy good, right? So I can't imagine. It's pretty awesome. I wonder how much more will be raised. Um, I guess we'll find out, right? Pretty cool. All right. Um, I really don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> I'm being honest. Let's do some shout outs, okay? Um, <clears throat> overnight, we had a few people who contributed, and I appreciate that very much. We had Golden Colts who resubbed for the 18th month in a row and said no one believed I could do it. Thank you, Golden Colts, very much for that. And then he did a couple cheers. 100-bit cheer and a 75-bit cheer, both with the hashtag charity. So thank you very much, Golden Colts. <clears throat> and then overnight, Infinite 55 also did a 1,000-bit cheer. Thank you very much, Infinite. Um, okay. Now, moving on to people who contributed during today's stream, we have As the Palaces Burn, who did a 50-bit cheer and said, Can you see the future if every day is exactly the same? Well, I guess so. Although, it really isn't. Like, for me, at least, um, every day is completely different, you know? Even though, um, technically I'm here streaming every day, I get to do so much different stuff. Um, seriously, I get to play all variety of different games, right? So much always going on in the world of gaming. The world of gaming is huge right now. It's the biggest form of entertainment there is in the world, which is awesome because it means there's always something for me to do, right? It's so a lot of people, their jobs are a nine to five grind. You go in, you put in your time, you don't really care about your job. You come home, you feel unfulfilled. And I've been there, trust me. I was there for a long time. A few jobs that I had were much like that. I was only doing it for the money and that's it. This is the complete opposite for me where every day I get to come and not only do I get to play fun new video games, the hottest stuff, I get to hang out with you all on a daily basis. I get to interact with you, have a fun stream. We get to talk and chat it up as well as enjoy new games. It's a very different experience than any of the job I've ever had before. And I realize how incredibly lucky I am to have this as my job. Um, <clears throat> so it's pretty damned awesome in that regard, right? Um, so for me, even though you might say, oh, every day is the same. Well, yes and no. There are certain aspects of the job that are the same. But there's so much variety in what I do. That I never really feel like, damn, I gotta go do the same grind or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like that. And I'll be honest with you guys. At one point, it was feeling like that. I'd say probably about three years ago, I was really kind of feeling down about everything because I felt like every day I had to get up and go to the grind. I don't feel like that anymore. Ever since I adopted the interactive streams, I love what I do so much more. It gives me more fulfillment. It makes me feel enriched. It does. Just... Uh, just today, I got a nice heartfelt message from a viewer telling me about how much my streams, you know, help them and uh, not only as a, as a form of relaxation, but, you know, entertainment and um, I read those messages and I'm like, damn, you know, that's really awesome. It is. It's really awesome that there are people who you know, get quality out of what I do. It's not, it's, again, it's not just like me going to some company that co considers me another, another cog in the machine. And I put in my hours, and they don't give a shit about me or what I do. I'm just, as long as I pump out the work to make them their profits, you know. I've been there. I, you know, that, I hate to say it, but that that office job that I had for five years before I ever did this, um, <clears throat> um, basically that for the five years that I had that job, I was promised the world. And always basically just, you know, promise, 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 and never given anything for my hard work. You know, when I first started working there, I was supposed to be customer service, right? But, of course, within two years of working there, oh, well, that's not enough to just be a customer service rep. We want you to do this and do that. We want you to be continuous improvement and train to do extra work, which, by the way, people who do continuous improvement work get paid way more than the money they were paying me. But... They had me do all this extra work on top of my normal job because I was on salary. They could do that, okay? So extra work on top of my normal job in order to uh, get as much out of me and milk as much out of me as they possibly could. Um, after five years of working there completely, pretty much between me and, and the guy who ran the IT department and like two other people who worked in this repairs department, 
between the four of us, we completely redesigned and redeveloped the entire process for this company of how to bring in broken helicopter parts, uh, figure out where to put it in the warehouse, figure out where to ship it out to get it repaired, to get quoting and pricing, get that approved by the customer to get their parts repaired, and then get those parts back in after they're repaired and ship them back to the customer. We redesigned this whole process from the ground up to be automated, streamlined, and be improved. It was about a year-long process, and at the end of the year, they laid me off. So I've been there, okay? I've totally been there in that job situation where you feel like every day is the same, you work your ass off, and then you get nothing for it. Thank God that's not my life anymore because that would probably be the ultimate uh, the ultimate uh, defeat. You know, after doing this for 10 plus years, um, you know, and loving what I do and having so much fun with what I do and being told that there's meaning behind it, um, to have to go back to that meaningless kind of, you know, you are just treated as an asset and you can be disposed of at any time kind of a mentality. <sighs> You know, that's pretty, pretty terrible. So anyway, thank you for the cheer as the palace is burned. That was quite the long response, but hey, <laughs> two bar King did a 150 bit cheer. Thank you very much. Two bar King. You are the top cheerer for today. I'm going to get you up on the leaderboard right now. Crap. What the King, not Kong. Okay. There we go. Two bar King. Um, I also got a $5 tip. Oh my God. Listen to this name. Poo poo pee pee. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate the tip. Poo poo pee pee. <laughs> Thank you very much for the $5 tip. Um, I guess I got to get you up on the leaderboard with that name, huh? <laughs> I guess so. It's only fair. All right, let's get you up there. <laughs> yes. And I do appreciate it because, as I've told you, um, you know, tipping me right now helps me the most. Any tips you guys give me are going straight to my bank account to get rid of this overdrawn thing. And it all did. You know, the past two days you guys have tipped me. It went right there. And today as well, you know, until I get paid by Twitch. Um, that's where it's all going, okay? So thank you for that support, poop, poop, pee, pee. <laughs> I don't know what this infatuation is with people with this, with poo in their names recently. It certainly isn't my, my, uh, preference. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Shout out to... I2 Flinny, who just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, I2 Flinny. I appreciate that. And I2 Flinny actually just tipped me 10 bucks. It says, a long time fam. I just got my first job. I felt the need to give back for years of content you've produced. So thank you. Well, thank you, I2 Flinny, um, for the $10 tip. You Not only did, are you the top tipper for the day, you also allow me to remove poo poo pee pee from the leaderboard. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. You actually... You helped out the stream significantly. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, my God. All righty, then. That was very good timing right there. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it for now. Um, let me go ahead. What I'd like to do today, today's Thursday, right? Yeah. Since we're about midweek for streaming let's go ahead and let's give credit to the top cheerers of the week and also what i'd like to do is give credit to the patrons who i only gave credit a little bit this month but let's first of all the top cheerers of the week let's go ahead and go through the countdown for everyone um in 10th place this week we've got a oh my god it's a four-way tie a four-way tie between Infinite, CM Fool, Eternal Napalm, and a Glowing White Face. I don't think I've ever seen a four-way tie before. In sixth place, we've got Golden Colts. In fifth place, Mr. Papa Vera. In fourth place, The Pone Cake. Third place is Tootie Head. Second place, Tana Monitor. And first place, Aaron is Buddha. So thank you to all of you for your support this week. And I should do this. I feel bad because I actually only did it like once or twice this month. Thank you to the patrons. For those who don't know, I have a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephill. People who pledge to my Patreon earn all kinds of fun stuff. 
personal perks, okay? Some of the things that you can get, for example, are getting your questions answered on my Q&A show that I do every other month, getting a private Q&A video made for yourself. Um, but in particular, the best one, in my opinion, if you pledge five bucks or more, you get to be in on monthly events right now. Uh, patrons are nominating games for my upcoming Christmas event. I have seen a wide variety of games nominated, including Undertale Genocide Run, Street Fighter V, um, Skyrim. I mean, there's a wild amount of stuff that's been nominated for the Christmas uh, ho uh, holiday gaming marathon. What we're going to do is this weekend, actually, Sunday night, I'm going to take all the nominations and I'm going to make a poll. And then the patrons will have one more week to vote on said poll and make those games happen in the marathon, okay? But anyway, that being said, um, please check it out, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, okay? And what I want to do is give a thank you to those who contributed in November. So thanks to the following patrons from November, much appreciated. Okay, so once again, thanks to those patrons. Much appreciated. Uh, gee, lastly, Donkey Donkey Schlong 69 has just subscribed to the channel for the third month in a row. And says, Lord knows I would smash them all. My Schlong is ready. Let's go. Alrighty then. Let's do a sub count check before we begin, everybody. Hopefully we've gone up. We have gone up. We're at 528 subs, everyone. So just so you know, we are incredibly close. 22 subscriptions away from... Hitting the monthly goal this month. And that would mean that we would be doing that retrospective event next month. Where I'll be looking back as a ten year, over 10 years at this point. As a content creator. And people will be nominating things for me to basically look back on. And I'll be doing not only re you know reactive uh, commentary. But also kind of behind the scenes kind of stuff. About a lot of the things I've done in the past. I did this in September. People loved that event. So please consider subbing to the channel to make that happen. We're very close. Okay. All right, everyone. Um, I think that is it. Just one more final reminder. The best way to support me today is to tip me until I get paid by Twitch. It really is the way that's going to help me the most. I really need your help right now. So if you could tip me today, it's appreciated. Outside of that, that's it. Let's end the pre-stream and let's get started with Smash. Sound good? Let's do it. All right.